What's up everybody? I'm Nick with Matt from Multirotors and today iFly Model has sent me four of their 20 amp ESCs. Now you all might remember I tested out their 2205-2600 motors last time and those things performed awesome. I'm going to pair them up with iFly's ESCs and see how they handle. Let's check them out. So these little things are tiny. I mean, you can see them, they are flipping small. Inside the package here, we've got little bitty tiny ESC. I mean, here's a here's a naze for comparison. So they're pretty damn small, pretty light, long wires. Good golly, long wires. You've got your diagram, which is actually pretty well laid out. Gives you a basic wiring diagram for an airplane. Different specifications, different ratings, um, programming values, but it's BL Heli, so we're all going to change it up. And then, for some reason, there's 2mm bullet plugs. Now, these are 20 amp ESCs, so 2mm plugs, probably not too smart. Uh, I would suggest 3mm, since that's what their 2205-2600s came with. So, even though these are meant to be used together, they have different compatibilities. Now these are 2 to 4S rated, 20 amp continuous, 30 amp burst, so they're pretty damn high on their spec rating compared to everything else. Now I do like the fact that even though these have super long wires, focus camera, it does have little tabs, so you can desolder and resolder, and it's not that big a deal. These are going for $16.99, so they are comparable again with most of the high performance ones. It does have an F390 MCU processor, so you can run these with high KV motors and multi-shot, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to try it eventually, but not for this review because out of the package testing. Uh, they are 6.6 .6 grams with all this wiring, so once we chop all this down, it'll drop a couple grams. That'll be nice. And the firmware is the FVT, Little B Zeus 20 amp combination ESC. I was looking side by side. These don't look exactly the same, but they are running the same little B firmware, which most, well not most, but a lot of ESCs are running these days. So I'm going to set them up on this Spartan 225. It'll be on 4-inch props with iFly's motors, and we'll see how this thing goes. Uh, I'm expecting some great results out of this, so I'm looking forward to it. ESCs installed on my Spartan 225 quad with iFly's 2205-2600 kV motors on 4-inch tri-blades. And you can kind of see them in there. They were definitely tiny. I got them all soldered up in <clears throat> a nice little pattern in here, cleaned up, shortened up the wires. Made it look good. I'm running it on this little Nanotech 4S 1300 uh, 4590C discharge battery. And I mean, they, wow, little rockets. I mean, they work great, they handle great. I did not update the firmware, so we're still on 14.4 BL Heli, and yet still amazing performance, great handling. Um, the braking was wonderful, the thrust was amazing, it, no desync issues, nothing crazy. I mean, it, they work great. That, there's not much else to them. For the price of what you're paying for these things, I'd definitely go get a set. They, uh, I'd put them up there in comparison with a lot of the really really high name ESCs right now. I'm not going to name any because this is not their review, but yeah, these are some great ESCs and if you're in the market, you're on a budget, you're trying to try some new stuff, these are definitely good to go in my book and I might actually order a few more.